Hey, how you doing? This is Adam Post, publisher of more than a thousand comic books. Been covering a lot of things to do with Marvel. Scarlett Johansson just recently said in an interview that she felt she was groomed into being a bombshell. Well, that would mean that, you know, she was young. They wanted her to be sexy. She took on these roles where she was sexy. She was the object of desire for older men. And then this happened. Now, this picture of Scarlett Johansson is not modified by me. That was just something that I did in my research for you. I did a uh, search on Google for Scarlett Johansson sexy, came up with a bunch of pictures. This is apparently some sort of promotional event from Calvin Klein, and you know, so she did it. Her body type is different though than I thought it was. I've seen her in a number of things. I haven't seen everything she's done. Came up with these pictures on eBay. So, yep, Scarlett Johansson, there's this picture from Calvin Klein again. And there's a really inappropriate picture with um, Scarlett Johansson for Black Widow. When and how did that happen? Maybe it's not a real picture. I don't know. Maybe some of this is like AI generated or something, but it looks like she did a lot of posing for this. Maybe she was involved in some of her own decision-making. You can tell me what you think after we've had a chance to get through this incredibly important video. Let's read the article from CBR.com, comic book resources. Before we do, please be sure you are subscribed to the channel. Click the bell for notifications, give me a thumbs up. Scarlett Johansson says she was kind of groomed into being a bombshell type actor. Black Widow star Scarlett Johansson reveals how being groomed as a bombshell type actor affected the early stages of her career in the industry. Now, in fairness to her, she talks about this every couple of years. I did another video on this, I think at least two years ago. Pretty much the same premise, but um, she talks about it. Whenever she talks about this, it's covered everywhere. She gets a tremendous amount of publicity. People are fascinated by this. Even I'm interested. She's gonna keep talking about it. That's her, of course, as Black Widow. Black Widow star Scarlett Johansson has opened up about how she was kind of groomed into being a bombshell type actor in the early stages of her career. During a recent appearance of The Table for Two with Bruce Bozzi podcast, Johansson discussed that she found herself repeatedly playing overly sexualized roles when she was starting off in her career. Quote, I did Lost in Translation and Girl with a Pearl Earring, and by that point, I was 18, 19, and I was coming into my own womanhood and learning my own desirability and sexuality. Have you ever heard of Lost in Translation and Girl with a Pearl Earring? I'm sure most of you have heard of this. I've never seen this movie. I like Bill Murray. I tend to see movies that he's in. So I guess this was a small movie and I just kind of missed it. A girl with a Pearl Earring? Like, but some people must have seen it. I was kind of being groomed in a way to be this what you call a bombshell type actor. I was playing the other woman and the object of desire and I suddenly found myself cornered in this place I couldn't get out of. Meaning that people in the industry just thought of her as that type of an actress and they weren't giving her other opportunities because she took on this role and she continuously played this role and that is what they're gonna think of her. Also, these photo shoots, you know, make you kind of think that sometimes there are some actresses that do not do these kinds of photo shoots and as a result like you kind of brand yourself i mean at some point she she does have to decide what she wants to be and then do photo shoots that reflect that the oscar nominee shared that she was concerned about the limited opportunity as an actor of being typecast but for that kind of bombshell you know that burns bright and quick and then when it's done you don't have opportunity beyond that in fact the actor highlighted how her character of black widow in iron man 2 was initially underdeveloped and over sexualized. She overcame this by working closely with director John Favreau and Marvel Studios head Kevin Feige to make the character more progressive. I have no idea what that was. Did the changes in Black Widow? Did you see the Black Widow movie? Did not do that well. It was kind of during the pandemic, but you know, some movies they wait to put out until after the pandemic, like Maverick. It was good that they did because that movie did a lot of money. But Black Widow was just, I don't know. I don't know if you liked it. Let me know if you liked the Black Widow movie in the comments below. I was watching it and I was like, oh wow, this idea is really similar to another idea that I had. And when I saw how they did the idea with the different female trained assassins that were mind controlled, it, it was actually a pretty stupid idea. I was like, well, okay, that, that was a bad idea I had. I'm glad they did it instead of me. But not a good movie. And what, what the other problem is, the MCU, like, it has no direction, right? Because originally, like, Iron Man 2, and she appears in Iron Man 2, and then she's going to eventually be in the Avengers. So it was important that you kind of saw her in Iron Man 2 as that character. That actually made sense. Right? You know, you're building up into an event and, and the Avengers was the event. It's just, they don't like do that 
anymore. They just make tons and tons and tons of stuff. And they wonder why Black Widow as a Marvel film isn't going to do business. And you'll see it, you know, as these continue to come out. They can make as much content as they want. It's got to be good, but it also has to like have some kind of an overall story purpose. You can't just like, all right, let's go to go and do a single standalone movie about Black Widow because she quote, deserves it, end quote. I don't know why they chose to make that movie. Scarlett Johansson has made quite a name for herself. Despite the entire situation being a weird conundrum to be in, Johansson continued to work hard to carve a place for herself in the industry and work in a variety of projects in an attempt to move away from her bombshell roles. Earlier this year, Johansson shed light on how being hypersexualized affected her career in Hollywood. On an episode of Dak Shepard's podcast, Armchair Expert with Dak Shepard, the actor discussed her early days in the industry. Quote, I kind of became objectified and pigeonholed in this way where I felt like I wasn't getting offers for the work for things I wanted to do. I mean, you typecast yourself. She was young, you know, so you can definitely say like, well, she's 18, 19 at the time. You know, what does she know? Okay, but you know, you have family and you have agents and managers and they help you figure out what you're doing. However, she does think that things have changed over the years and that Hollywood has begun to take women more seriously. Quote, now I see younger actors that are in their late 20s. It feels like they're allowed to be in all these different things, she explained. After starring in several prominent films in the past decade, Johansson has become one of the most popular actors in the industry. You know, this issue is if you're in this movie Lost in Translation and then if there's a similar theme of like older man interested in younger woman, you're typecast for that. So you, you get offered roles for that because the public knows you. Even though I haven't seen these movies, apparently other people have. But you also get to see the actor or actress in this case in that situation, in that role. You see how they do in that role. And not only do they have exposure, they become like a brand in that role, but you see the they can execute and like okay well you handled the role well you gave off the vibe we wanted great so come work for us on girl with a pearl earring and, you know, that's when you're planning a career whatever the career is it's partly networking it's part of like having experience and that's what she did in 2019 she earned the title of the highest paid actress in hollywood for the second year in a row, see, they called her an actress here. They're tr trying to call her an actor, and I keep calling her actress. Earning $56 million for her roles in Black Widow and Avengers Endgame. The actor is soon, now she's an actor again. The actor is soon to star in the Apple TV Plus movie project Artemis opposite Chris Evans. Well, let me know what you think of all this in the comments below. Are people responsible for their own careers? Do you think of Scarlett Johansson as a bombshell? Are you surprised to see her in this picture? I have to admit, I was a little bit. I don't really know exactly what she looks like in different stages of clothes, but um, I'm learning a little bit more as I do research for this video. I'll have to get back to this as the video wraps up. So please be sure you are subscribed to the channel. Click the bell for notifications. Give me a thumbs up and I'll see you again soon with another video. And if I don't see you, I will miss you.